In three minutes and 23 seconds, I'm gonna ask you a question. For your reflection, a question about IIT and our next direction. But first, to highlight our progression from yesterday's past to today's present, a recollection. In the 1930s, Marvin Camera started recording music onto magnetic tape. Miles upon miles of ideas and emotions captured. Miles, Thelonious, Coltrane, and Duke captured. Wrapping real sounds from real to real, Marvin laid a foundation for the future of music, taking it out of the studios, taking it off the stage, and taking it on a walk, man. In Marty Cooper's cell phone, to carry in your hand, untethered from line on land, take a second and imagine life beforehand. Or Nobel Prize winning Susan Solomon, whose commitment to climate change has helped rearrange our situation and reduced ozone depletion. Not to mention countless other grads from IIT who would pioneer the first Pentium processor, become chief scientist at Twitter, repurpose buses to bring mobile grocery stores to food deserts, and privatize the delivery of supplies to the International Space Station. So when I say we stand on the shoulders of giants, that might sound cliche, but these honorifics we just replayed paint a picture of how prolific and influential these specific giants are to us today. But it is my firm belief that our greatest successes do not lie in the past, like nostalgic trophies that as time progresses will soon be surpassed. No. Right now, the women and men who grace these halls with their presence, the pioneers of the presence, are blazing trails of innovation the world has not seen yet. Like students helping to design a waste-free facility that grows vegetables hydroponically but also makes tea, has a brewery, and feeds fish symbiotically. Or a professor like Lori Andrews, fighting to protect your online privacy, your digital dignity, making part of her life's work, securing your social network. And IIT minds are building better battery packs that will quickly charge electric cars without a negative impact, taking last century's science fiction and making it our everyday reality. Because this collaborative environment fosters creativity and wonderment, exposing the sharpest minds to the broadest context. We see a future that is brighter, but cleaner, more powerful, yet smaller. And our role in this future will be greater and wider. But this type of progress, this forward motion sustained, requires fuel, heart, and perspiration to be maintained. And it's our friends and graduates, our great cloud of witnesses, who will give lift to our ambitions and share in the triumphs of each and every successful mission. So here's the question. With the richness of our legacy, our heritage of ingenuity, and the momentum we hold presently, it's time to ask you earnestly, together, what can't we do?